Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be discussing the recent Israeli elections and what they mean, especially for the prospect of a one-state solution. Israel's recent elections led to a landslide victory to Israel's far right. And the most extreme right-wing government in Israel is now in the making. In today's episode, I'm going to be focusing on one aspect of these results. The prospect of a one-state solution under an extreme right Israeli government. Now, as you may be aware by now, I am an advocate for the one-state solution, a full democratic one state with equal rights to everyone from the Jordan River to the sea, with no religious or racial supremacy to anyone. Now, how does Israel's far right view the one-state solution? Well, Itamar Ben Gvir's party or Jewish power in English, has advocated for what it calls the whole state of Israel since its establishment in 2004. So does the party that ran alongside it, the religious Zionism, led by Betzel El Smotrich. Now, Ben Gvir's party does not have a manifesto, or at least I didn't find one. However, Smotrich's party does have a manifesto, and it clearly states that it works towards building a one state with the increasing of settlements in the West Bank, attracting more Jewish people to the West Bank, and implement a de facto one state in the whole of Israel. So, similar to what we have at the moment, but probably at a higher pace. Now, they call it Hachalat Ribunut in Hebrew, which is an implementation of sovereignty. As to them, the whole state of Israel belongs only to the Jewish people. In fact, Moshe Peglin, another right-wing prominent figure and previous Zehut party leader, which didn't run in the last elections, also supports a one-state solution. Um, but he based his assumptions for a one-state solution that most Palestinians will willingly leave such a state. According to a study he quoted, 80% of Gazans and 60% of Palestinians in the West Bank will willingly leave if there were to be a one-state solution between the Jordan River to the sea. Now, I myself haven't found that study, but he quoted that study uh, some time ago uh, during one of his interviews. Now, not only that he wants Palestinians to leave, he will continue the ban of Palestinian refugees from coming in, therefore continuing the regime of racism and religious supremacy for the Jewish People. Professor Eugene Kontorovich, a right-wing figure and a long-time advocate for the one-state solution and an implementation of sovereignty, argues that if Israel would take over the West Bank, the Palestinians would be the biggest losers because they would make up, according to his calculations, between 35 to 40 percent of the population. Now, I believe he disregarded Gaza because if you include the Gazan population, the whole population of Palestinians between the Jordan River to the sea will be somewhat equivalent, if not tip over slightly, the Jewish population in the same areas. He believes that Palestinians, Palestinians in such a state, would have uh, limited rights, especially when it comes to voting, which is somewhat close to the viewpoints of Itamar Ben Gvir and Smotrich. In short, it promotes semi-autonomy without voting rights and a continuation of the Jewish supremacy state. Netanyahu and his Likud party, on the other hand, have one clear thing when it comes to the solution status quo. A status quo that will eventually lead to a de facto one state, at least in Israel and the West Bank, that is, with the constant expansion of Israeli settlements. So what type of state are they looking for when they say they want a one-state solution? According to them, it would be a Jewish state expanded further into 1967 territories, where the Palestinians' destiny would remain somewhat in limbo and a continuation of the racial supremacy regime in the whole of the country. They would further ban Palestinians from coming in, especially refugees, and would still give priority to Jewish people, but rather encourage Jewish people to come and encourage Palestinians to leave. So, I agree with the extreme right wing in Israel that we do need one state, but I somewhat disagree with them as to how it would 
look like. The model of the current ethnocracy in Israel, or how Israel likes to call it a Jewish democracy, has failed miserably. Any attempt to expand this flawed version of state, especially throughout the hostility-filled areas due to the brutal face of this ethnocracy and apartheid is not a solution but a delusion. It is time for the decision makers in Israel to wake up. It's either one democratic, non-supremacist state as soon as possible for everyone where Jews, Muslims, Christians, atheists, non-believers and followers of any faith would live in equally or its catastrophe in the making. We must not allow history to repeat itself. And instead, we must work to rewrite a better future for all of us. During the 20th century, the Jewish people were victims of atrocious, racially fueled campaign, and it ended with the Holocaust. The Palestinians, following a racially fueled campaign, went through the Nakba. Is it not time for us to move on from this atrocious past and work to build a better future? The Israeli side will say, but Israel is our only state. The Palestinians want to kick us out. They want to create a caliphate. But you have so many other Arab states. Why don't you go to the Arab states? We only have one Jewish state. And I know what the Palestinian side would say. How can you even suggest a solution with the people who occupied your land, kicked your ancestors from their land, have an apartheid regime, and still implement a racist regime? Well, my answer would be in the form of a question. Have we ever tried living in one fully equal state?